We have new information now also on the plane crash. KTVU has just learned the names of the four pilots who were on board the flight. They are Captain Sum Ting Wong, We Tu Lo, Ho Li Fook, and Bang Ding Ao. <laughs> And now for something completely different. Do you like me? Yes. <laughs> Do you want to kiss me? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he likes crack, doesn't he? Yeah, he does the uh, crack work. That's well. That's the first part we did. Here's another another thing to laugh at: crack. <laughs> yeah. Why do you need a punchline when you got the term crack whore? Crack whore. Oh my god, I'm not even set up. We have lots of crack whores in our <laughs> <laughs> We do. It's like crack whore capital of uh, Ontario. All of Lucy's <laughs> former friends before she met me. <laughs> There's a lot of crack whores in River Valley, picking corn. Oh my god. <laughs> um, okay. Let's get cracking with some Normie. <laughs> well, this coming Monday is Oscar night, and three films, The English Patient, Secrets and Lies, and Shine, are locked in a tight race in the category, Best Picture There's Not a Chance in Hell I Will Ever See. <laughs> No interest at all in seeing those. I agree. In music news, Dr. Jack Kervorkian has performed and recorded a one-hour CD of his own jazz compositions for the flute. You know, Dr. Kervorkian, I've, uh, I've listened to your CD, and I've got some advice. Don't quit your day job, <laughs> all right? You know, murdering old people? Stick with that. <laughs> Stay away from the flute and stick with the, uh, the murdering old people. This is my advice. Earlier today, the biggest auction ever of Beatles memorabilia took place in Tokyo. Among the one-of-a-kind items on the block were Paul McCartney's birth certificate, a white Mercedes-Benz owned by John Lennon, and rarest of all, a photo of George Harrison not looking haggard. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen one when you think about it? Say they are developing a pill which can give women orgasms without having sex. <laughs> Read all about this revolutionary discovery in my new book, The World's Most Dangerous Drug. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I would be. The women clapped at the premise, and the men clapped at the punchline. <laughs> Oprah Winfrey's longtime boyfriend, Stedman Graham, has written a new book called You Can Make It Happen, A Nine-Step Plan for Success. Step number one, become Oprah Winfrey's boyfriend. <laughs> that kind of helps. That's awesome. And then the other eight are just hang around. <laughs> two people that were two home, two people... <laughs> oh, drats. <laughs> That's like us. Two homeless yeah. people who met at a soup kitchen were married in front of homeless guests at the very same soup kitchen. For those who want to give the couple a wedding gift, they are registered at Kansas City's District 5 Recycling Pen. <laughs> hmm, I wonder who's going to win this case. The mother of the two children, or the guy who had his penis twisted into a fake vagina? <laughs> it's a tough call. You got the guy who fashioned a vagina-like thing, and then you got the mother. In Los Angeles this week, actor Arnold Schwarzenegger underwent heart surgery to repair a faulty heart valve. Doctors were concerned because during a routine examination of Schwarzenegger, they got a little turned on. <laughs> they became concerned, you know, and something like that will happen, you know. Let's pause for thought for whatever. 
Last week in Tampa, Florida, William Santiago, a mail carrier for 27 years, was fired from his job and now faces up to five years in jail for keeping two magazines which had been sent to a non-existent address. Postal officials admit that they could have let him off with just a warning, but then he wouldn't come back someday and shoot 30 people. So. <laughs> I decided oh to be a little strict. <laughs> In South Dakota, about. inmates yeah. at the state penitentiary say that a new policy which allows officials to read their mail is an example of the routine violations of individual rights in prison. A better example would be the daily anal rapes, but I guess <laughs> they want to start off small and then <laughs> they work up oh to the, the daily anal rapes. You know, they'll start off with the reading their mail, you know. In other music news, Paul McCartney will take part in his first live online chat, May the 17th, and a record two and a half million calls have already come in from people hoping to have an actual moment of contact with the former Beatle. Although it should be noted that two million of those calls came from Ringo Starr. So, <laughs> <laughs> you factor that into it, yeah, I'll go over here. <laughs> Real estate mogul Donald Trump announced this week that after three and a half years of marriage, he is seeking a divorce from wife Marla Maples. According to Trump, Maples violated part of their marriage agreement when she decided to turn 30. <laughs> <laughs> Unacceptable. <laughs> Last week in Cleveland, the rock group Crosby, Stills, and Nash was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. In addition, a special yeah. Lifetime Achievement Award was presented to David Crosby's liver. <laughs> Congratulations, David Crosby's liver. In Washington, D.C., public school officials are asking parents to help pay for needed equipment, such as a new state-of-the-art surveillance system that one area school has requested. According to the school's principal, the new system will help him monitor cheerleaders that he claims like to vandalize school property while showering. <laughs> I don't think he's a good principal at all, that character. Yesterday, the House Budget Committee approved an outline of the deal between President Clinton and congressional leaders to balance the budget. But both sides caution it is not set in stone. In order to become official, of course, it must still be approved by this Chinese guy here. <laughs> He's got a... What, boo, what the hell? <laughs> no reason to boo anything. A new survey by the Washington Post reports that oh. D.C. Mayor Marion Barry's popularity among city residents has dropped to its lowest point in five years. However, Mayor Barry insists he has no interest in polls or, for that matter, anything else that isn't crap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no interest in how well, good are polls going to do it? <laughs> Former President Ronald Reagan is selling his Santa Barbara ranch to the federal government, which will turn it into a California state park. In what can best be described as a sweetheart deal for Reagan, he will get $5 million for the 700-acre ranch, and he will still think he owns it. <laughs> yeah, you got Alzheimer's. The later. rich get richer, you know? Ridiculous. According to new medical research, crack babies are as happy and healthy oh, as normal that. children. You know, that's amazing, you know. Because I thought they'd be much happier with all that crack in their system, you know. They... <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> in a recent interview on the subject of parenting, Jane Fonda admitted that it wasn't easy to talk to her children about sex. But... She felt it was necessary because she did not want them to learn about sex the way that she did, by reading North Vietnamese propaganda pamphlets. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to forget that. Hanoi Jane. <laughs> A new development in the Marv Albert story. This week, his accuser, Vanessa Perhatch, decided to go public, allowing news agency to print her name and picture. Following the publications of the photograph, legal experts were left wondering, who was the real victim? <laughs> <laughs> the 
Not easy on the eye. He's been forced to pay $3.75 million to settle a sex discrimination suit brought by male job applicants who claim that its policy of hiring only women is unfair. The settlement was hailed as a landmark case for guys who try to ruin everything. <laughs> The injustice. <laughs> you want to go to Hooters and a dude shows up at your table, you know? And in entertainment news, Ellen DeGeneres and lover Anne Hesch have announced that they want to have a baby. However, their plan has hit a snag. They are both women. <laughs> <laughs> it is not possible to have a... In Massachusetts, the 119-acre Dunn Pond State Park has the state's first nature trail designed for the handicapped. Along the trail, you will find a rich variety of birds, lizards, and insects, all of them handicapped. <laughs> so, it's not really a very good trail, you know? <laughs> According to a new survey by the Women's Vote Project, Women would be more likely to vote if they could send in ballots by mail or if polls were open longer. Also, more women would vote if you were permitted to bake your vote. <laughs> they like to bake. <laughs> Visitors to Yellowstone National Park are being advised to carry pepper spray to defend themselves against bears. According to park officials, pepper spray is inexpensive and it is far more effective against bears than their first idea, which was uh, honey spray. That's... <laughs> that didn't work out at all. That worked completely counter to the sources in Hollywood. <laughs> a religious group in Chile is trying to ban a new Claudia Schiffer film, which features explicit lesbian sex scenes. According to the group, sex between two women is an abomination before God, almost as blasphemous a sex between a woman and David Copperfield. <laughs> I don't know which is worse, which is more of an abomination. The exotic dancers say city ordinance requiring them to keep four feet away from their customers will put them out of business in Shoreline, Washington. Or as I now refer to it, Nazi Germany. <laughs> Quite a world we live in. Incidentally, Ms. Maston will be represented in her civil suit by feminist attorney Gloria Allred, who is also quite unattractive. <laughs> no box of chocolates, that one. Exposure to secondhand smoke dramatically increases a non-smoker's risk of getting heart disease and lung cancer. Jubilant tobacco company executives say the study proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that non-smoking can kill you. <laughs> that one wasn't very good, but... <laughs> Try to laugh anyway, because it helps Farley have a little rest. <laughs> and in London, British scientists have created a frog embryo without a head. A breakthrough that could lead to the production of headless human clones to provide organs and tissue for transplant, as well as horrific nightmares for the rest of my life. <laughs> I can't deal with this kind of stuff anymore. And in New Orleans this week, Doonesbury creator Gary Trudeau was honored by the Drug Policy Foundation, a group which seeks to legalize marijuana. Also honored this week by the foundation, Weed. <laughs> yeah, they honor that every, every day. Yeah. It's a multiple honoree. Meanwhile, O.J. Simpson's Brentwood Estate officially went on sale this week with an asking price of $3.9 million. According to realtors, some of the home's highlights include a newly renovated gourmet kitchen and a luxurious math master bathroom with separate sinks for murderer and murderee. <laughs> New York City Mayor Rudolph Giuliani cruised to re-election with 57% of the vote. <laughs> the mayor credits his victory to strict enforcement of quality of life ordinances. 
while loser Ruth Messenger blamed her defeat on low voter turnout by aggressive panhandlers and squeegee men. <laughs> she was expecting them to show up strongly. Sad story from the world of entertainment this week. Talk show host Ricky Lake had to get rid of her dog Dudley after the pooch became too aggressive with her seven-month-old son Milo. A clearly saddened Lake said, it broke my heart to get rid of that dog, but he was delicious. <laughs> she ate a whole dog. This week, a milestone in rock music, R.E.M. drummer Bill Berry has announced that he is quitting the band. Barry, who has been with R.E.M. for 17 years, says the decision to leave was entirely mutual between himself and his giant eyebrow. He <laughs> <laughs> talked it over and they decided it was best for both. The Franklin Mint has announced plans to market a Princess Diana porcelain doll. And the timing of the move has made some people very unhappy. Critics charge that the doll is in poor taste and they're even more upset about the Franklin Mint's other new offering, porcelain landmine. <laughs> she was big into You can play with them together if you want. She was big into getting rid of those. Last weekend yeah. in Washington, a new museum dedicated to broadcast jerk. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck was that? Last weekend in Washington, a new museum. Ah, my farewell performance. Last weekend. <laughs> and finally, when Richard Gere made his first appearance recently on the Oprah Winfrey show, the two got along famously. But all that may change when the actor hears about this month's Oprah Winfrey book club selection. It's called What Really Happened by Richard Gere's Jurgen. <laughs> Okay, folks, that's the news. Have a good thing. Have a good thing. Nice, nice. Uh, oh my God, he was he was funny. Norm's funny. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right, so that's the second half of that. Okay. I'm sure there's more. He's done more, but you know, yeah. Maybe, maybe, yeah so. Okay, so the Norm videos are done. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Well, for now. We get, for now. We have done other now. Norm McDonald. I think there's a few on the channel. I'll see if yeah. I can link them, but yeah. there has been to it. Um, just depends if we can get to copyright, but Norm is hilarious. Norm yeah. is Norm is the type of comedian that uh, he goes for those uncomfortable jokes, those sort of jokes that you're, you maybe get a little later on, you know? Yeah, I get, like, yeah, there's always a punchline or something in there, and <clears throat> and he tells little stories to his jokes too. Sometimes. Like his, his yeah. punchlines are, are um, it makes you think too. Like yeah. a little bit. Like oh, wait a minute, I didn't look at it that way. I don't know. Possibly, possibly. I don't know. He knows nothing. That fridge is driving me nuts. Okay. Yeah, it's probably gonna die. Went to the doctor the other day and I said, uh, "There's a steering wheel attached to my groin. What do I do? It's driving me nuts." I have to live with him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.